we are going to be removing and replacing both the CPU heatsink and the CPU itself. In this computer, both the heatsink and the CPU are located underneath this black plastic shroud. To begin, we first must remove the optical drive and the hard drive and hard drive tray. We can now use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen two screws on each side of the shroud. The screws will not come out of the shroud, but once they are loose, you can then lift the heat sink off of the CPU. This gray stuff on the bottom here is what we call thermal paste. Every time you remove a heat sink off of a CPU, you must clean off that thermal paste with rubbing alcohol and replace it with new thermal paste. Setting the heat sink aside, we can see the CPU right down here. Now to remove the CPU, we push this bar down and off to the side to release it. With that bar up out of the way, we can then remove this plate around the CPU. And the CPU comes straight up and out of the socket. To replace the CPU, we must line up this triangle on the corner with a triangle on the socket itself. Once the CPU is in place, we can replace the front plate and push the bar back down and lock it into position. We can then replace the heat sink after replacing the thermal paste, of course. And then tighten the screws on both sides. You can then replace the hard drive and optical drive back into the computer.